We don't just make cars, we craft stories. Stories that have been part of our lives, that have made history, guided by a clear vision. Freedom of movement for everyone. Today, mobility is undergoing a fundamental transformation. It touches us all and enables our dreams. Connecting cities, connecting people, connecting present and future. It's about exploring new opportunities, responding to new needs, and all in harmony with the world around us. In this new era of mobility, it's not about being the biggest. It's about pursuing greatness. That is why we, a diverse and talented group of 300,000 men and women, working in 50 countries around the world, and powering iconic vehicles and mobility brands, with millions of ideas, unbounded creativity, enormous passion, and a competitive spirit, are committed to pursuing new horizons and shaping a better world for the generations to come. We are combining our strengths, talents, and experience to provide our customers and society with the most distinctive, appealing, versatile, and sustainable range of mobility solutions. Because today is where we anticipate the needs of our customers and where tomorrow's solutions are conceived. And we know that together we can create a better future. Our new journey has started. Stellantis. Pursuing greatness. Είμαι στα Στελάντης. Φόμος είναι Στελάντης. Είμαι στα 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 Dear members of the media, it's a pleasure to address you today and share our 2030 strategic plan. I will start by giving you an overview of Stellantis' global strategy. Then, I will move to the Middle East and Africa region, starting with our footprint, followed by a deep dive into our business ambition, strategy, and pillars. On March, Stellantis announced its Dare Forward 2030 strategic plan. Their Forward 2030 takes Stellantis from its first year and moves it into a sustainable mobility tech company. It is about how Stellantis will engineer the future of mobility and take bold steps every day with an entrepreneurial spirit to create a new era of mobility. Their Forward 2030 also paves the way for Stellantis' ambition to be second to none in value creation for all stakeholders. Their forward was built to achieve four core targets by 2030. First, slashing our carbon emission in half by 2030 on the path to achieving a carbon net zero in 2038. Second, setting the course for BEV sales. Third, achieving number one position in customer experience. And fourth, doubling revenues while transforming our business models and sustaining double-digit operating margin throughout the entire plan. The plan builds on the strong foundation set for the group during its first year of operation, starting with our purpose and values and continuing with our journey towards becoming a tech company. During our first year, we have identified our group purpose and values that guide us every day. Powered by our diversity, we lead the way the world moves. The diversity of our brands and people is our power. And we aim to become a leader in sustainable mobility. Our purpose is sustained by four core values. Without our customers, we do not exist. Our collective spirit is our strength. We win and fail together and learn so that we try again and win together. We are able to surpass ourselves, to think outside the box, to learn continuously and to adapt to a fast changing world. We care for our teams, performance, as well as the planet and the global ecosystem in which we operate. I will now leave you with a video that illustrates our values and purpose.
Stellantis is moving from a legacy car maker to a tech company. How? Stellantis will invest more than 30 billion euros through 2025 in electrification and software, while our investment efficiency is 30% over the industry average. We are being innovative, focusing on speed, excellence of execution, and capitalizing on the scale of our group. Across the world, the first steps toward this transformation are already taking place. In Middle East Africa, we are encouraging a continuous simulation of entrepreneurial and innovative mindset. We are targeting a LEV market share above region average, leveraging the group capabilities and sourcing. We are promoting innovative mobility solutions, such as AMI and Roxy, being built in Morocco and distributed in Middle East Africa and Europe. We are rolling out the 2038 group commitment to reach carbon neutrality. Let's watch together a video that shows how Stellantis is adapting to the new era of mobility trends. At Stellantis, we see a world in transition where five megatrends are converging to define a new era of mobility. In 2030, climate change will shape nearly every aspect of the world's 8.5 billion citizens. Today, 64% of people in 50 countries believe climate change is a global emergency. The vast majority of people are eager for a sustainable way of life. 73% of customers want their mobility choices to lower CO2 emissions. The world is making its energy transition. By 2030, the world is projected to have 43 megacities, each with more than 10 million people. These megacities will have a tremendous impact on how we transport goods and people, creating more and more diverse mobility patterns beyond today's traditional vehicle ownership. In the past four years, digital ride-hailing users has doubled. Digitalization and software are also transforming the customer experience. More than 70% of vehicles on the US and European roads will be connected by 2030, providing enhanced safety tech, automated features, entertainment, and always-on upgrades. As fragmentation increases in today's polycultural era, from technology to regulations to social paradigms, new customer groups are increasingly giving way to a greater market segmentation. 42% of today's leaders now expect constant volatility for the next three years. As uncertainty grows, resiliency, agility, innovation, and efficiency are required now more than ever to seize every opportunity. At Stellantis, we have embraced these five trends, daring to change course and boldly head in a new direction. Now that I have shared with you the global Stellantis strategy, let's deep dive into our Middle East and Africa region, starting with an overview video.
In this wide and diverse region, Stellantis is a key player with a strong footprint, including four subsidiaries, over 1,500 points of sales, 10 industrial plants, 10 brands, 74 products, almost 12,000 employees spanning over 35 nationalities and with an average age of 33 years old. And now, what about Middle East and Africa 2030, their forward strategic plan? Our ambition is to become the market leader in Middle East Africa by 2030 with over 1 million vehicles sold by consolidating our position in the Mediterranean crown and the French overseas territories, achieving over 30% market share, by strengthening our position in sub-Saharan Africa to respond to local needs with an adapted range of mobility solutions, by ramping up in Middle East and South Africa with a market share above 12%. From an industrial perspective, we want to move from 25 to over 70% regional production autonomy and around 1 million vehicles capacity per year. We will keep importing from and exporting to mainly Europe and North America around 300,000 units per year. From a commercial perspective, we are working on four pillars. Distribute in a consolidated setup in our strategic markets to maximize the efficiency and the synergies. Increase market and product coverage. Deliver leadership in customer experience. Lead the energy transition in our region. 100% of Stellantis product portfolio will be electrified by 2025. From a brand perspective, we have a wide and unique 10 brands portfolio that responds to any customer need, from micromobility at 9,000 euro to mainstream, light commercial vehicles, premium and luxury at more than 200,000 euros. Region profit pool coverage will reach over 80%. We'll be launching around 55 new products with an LEV mix over 25%. Our brand offensive can only be effective while embracing the automotive sector digitization trends. Indeed, digitization and data sit at the heart of our Dear Forward plan. In Middle East Africa, we'll be focusing on two axes. First one, e-commerce. We have launched our first selling online in Israel back in 2021. Our Middle East Africa target this year is to sell 10,000 vehicles across Israel, GCC, Turkey, and Morocco. By 2030, one third of all our sales will come from online customers. Second one is data and connected services. With the fast acceleration of monetizable connected vehicles in our region, our data service will help us take our customer journey to the next level. By 2027, all Stellantis brands, products, and services will be housed in one digital marketplace, powered by artificial intelligence and accessible in one click for all our customers looking for new vehicles, used cars, after sales, all mobility services, and software updates. The aftermarket also holds a key position in our regional Dare Forward strategy. Middle East Africa is among the leading regions in achieving the group their forward objective targeting over 50% revenues increase thanks to a strong independent aftermarket roadmap, a complete multi-brand product range, an independent aftermarket channel offensive. As far as logistic efficiency is concerned, we aim at adapting our footprint and distribution scheme to cover all the regional and local market needs. We aim to strongly develop the sourcing ecosystem in the countries in which we operate. We are building a competitive and low carbon footprint supplier base capable to serve our industrial operations in the region and for the group. Our objective is to reach 10 billion euros annual purchasing value by 2030 based on three pillars widening the sourcing base from four to seven countries in Middle East Africa, increasing the localization rate up to 80%, including raw materials and subcomponents, leveraging on and promoting national strategies for energy transition. 
In conclusion, Stellantis Middle East and Africa aims to become number one in the market share while leading the energy transition with over 22% market share, over 25% lev mix, over 12% AOI margins, 10 brands, 55 launches, and a self-sourcing rate above 70%. Thank you for your interest and your attention. We will now move to the Q&A session.